Finally tonight, the Toronto teenager taking a deep dive into Lake Ontario. With warmer waters off the table for now, he's making the most of this situation. And as CTV's Scott Lifet reports, he's doing some good in the process. It's a picturesque and popular spot where the city and nature coexist. In cold water like this, uh, warm water regulators do tend to free flow. But for 16-year-old Mark Tredsky, the best way to see Humber Bay is underwater. I've been scuba diving since I was 10, but I only seriously got into it during the summer. Diving is something he and his father do on vacations, but with no trips south this year, they've been exploring the Great Lakes. It's like the feeling of flying and you can move around these uh, shipwrecks and stuff in three dimensions. You know, it's not just like looking at it, it's being a part of it. Humber Bay is where Tretsky and his father did their dry suit training. It's also an easy spot for them to dive. But two days ago, during a Sunday dive, he noticed something different. As we were swimming out, we noticed that there are these huge fields of garbage. A field of trash now stretched along the lake bed from beer cans to shopping bags, disposable masks and gloves. I don't really even know the true extent of it, but even what was there like in the immediate visible area was like already like I'm saying, it's ridiculous. Tresky says he believes the garbage is litter left along the shoreline and picked up by the wind. Well, uh, definitely there isn't someone uh, coming down there as a big dump truck and uh, specifically dumping there. Uh, I think, honestly, it's just people who maybe don't really realize that, like, the wind can pick it up or think, oh, maybe someone else will clean it up. And he hopes that by bringing attention to the issue, people will get the message. Just clean up after yourselves, really. There's a garbage can right there. It's not too hard to pick it up. So divers can get back to seeing the treasures of the lake, not just the trash. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News.